I'd like to start by thanking all of you for coming out to celebrate the wedding of Emmanuel and Caitlin. I know that I speak for them when I say that it means the world to have so many friends and family come from across the country to share in their big day. Caitlin, I'm truly blessed I found the truest of love with you. Caitlin, I'm truly blessed I found the truest love with you. And today I commit my life to yours. And today I commit my life to yours. Caitlin, today is the day we have weathered COVID, pregnancy, and wedding madness to make it to this day. I've been thinking a lot of what this day means and how it will change our lives going forward. The truth is, you changed my life the day that I met you. No matter what we go through, I know that our little family will be okay. I look forward to forging this new path through life with you and enjoying every laugh, bump, and bruise along the way. I love you, and I could not imagine life without you. Thank you for everything you do for me, Elijah, and our family. I love you, Waki. Stay faithful and true to you. And to stay faithful and true to you. I will comfort you in your pain. I will comfort you in your pain. And encourage you with your dreams. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I don't know if I can say it, man. <laughs> Dear Manny, can you believe it? The day has finally come. I feel like we've waited so long for our wedding day with most of our closest family and friends. 3,901 days to be exact. This last decade with you has been the greatest joy in my life. You are the strongest person I know. You are the most thoughtful man I'm lucky enough to call mine. And you've transitioned into the best daddy to our son Elijah. I promise to always be by your side and support your dreams in life. I'm your biggest cheerleader, your best friend, and your number one partner in life forever. Manny, this, this is the best part of any ceremony for a ring. <laughs> you get to finally kiss your beautiful bride. I've seen them thrive through the highs of promotions and the lows of global pandemics. I've seen the joy in their faces when they told us they were having their first son. And I've seen that joy continue to grow after Elijah was born in January. I've even watched them just last week navigate a pseudo gas crisis with a wedding right around the corner, which I'm sure felt a little deja vu-ish considering what happened last year. I wish you both all the best as you embark on this new exciting journey of marriage and parenthood. May you never stop learning from each other as you continue to love each other. And most importantly, seize every opportunity to live life to the fullest and celebrate the little things.